Hello and welcome to this short Airbox training video about templates. So let's start up Airbox. What is templates in Airbox? It's a new way of starting a configuration. Today, most people start a configuration by selecting one of the fan types in the toolbar. And starting a configuration this way will always start up with the same settings or the same input parameters. This will now change if you use system templates. You find the system templates in this window to the right. If you don't see the window, simply move your mouse to the right side of Airbox and the window will show. When you move your mouse around inside the window, you can see that this text area changes. It shows you the name of the template and a small description. If you want to start a configuration using this template, you simply double click it. And you can see that you have started this configuration used using a template because the caption or headline of the window says based upon template, in this case, Xerox Hot Smoke. And you can also see that Hot Smoke is pre-selected and Danfoss as frequency converter is pre-selected. So it's very easy to use the templates. And of course, when you have started the configuration, you can change anything you like, just a normal. To make your own configurations, you have to start a conf to, to, to sorry, to make your own templates, you have to start a configuration. You can start a configuration using a template, or you can start a configuration using the toolbar. Then you make the changes you want. I would like to start with a lower airflow always, and I would like to start with a silencer always. Then I can hit the template button. And now it tells me that if I want to use the drawing as the template image, you must select the solution before pressing the template button. Okay, do you want to continue without drawing? No. So I will go to the list of solutions and select the solution and again press the template button. And now you can see that the drawing is used as the template image. And I can give it a name and a short description. If I do not want to use this drawing as the template image, I can press the new image button and select another image. I'll select an image of my grandparents and press save. Okay, and I'll close this one. I don't need to save it if I don't uh, want. And then to use my new template, I simply double click it and it will start up with a lower airflow and with a basic silencer pre-selected. So it's very easy to make your own templates. So if you are not quite satisfied with your new template, you can open a configuration using the template and you can make your changes. I would like to go with very low airflow and maybe I will want a silencer with a core. And I can press the template button now. And then it will ask me, do you want to update existing template called my template? Yes, I would like to do that. And then I can simply press save. And now the template, template is updated. So if I use my template again, you will see that I have a lower airflow and that I have a silencer with a core. Yes, um, as you saw before, you can use the drawing as the template, but you can also not use the drawing as the template. I'll try to do it again and make a small change. And then just press the template button. And again, it will ask me if that, or tell me that I have to select a solution if I want to use the drawing. We want to continue without the drawing, yes. And then it will simply select a standard product image for this template. So you can, you can do that as well.
Yes. Okay. In the template window, we have a small menu. You can sort the template. You can have the most recent used one on top, or you can have the most often used one as on top. And when you sort, you sort both the system templates and the private templates. You can also go to the edit window uh, from this menu by selecting this one. And you, you get in here where you can change the name and the notes or the description, and you can change the image or you can delete uh, your template. Let's say I do not want this template anymore. I can delete it. And it will disappear from, from my private templates. The last thing you can do in this menu is that you can share the template with another Airbox user. You do that by selecting the template and select share. And then you enter the email of another Airbox user. And you can add more if you divide the emails with a semicolon. Uh, and then you press the OK button. I will not do that because there is no Airbox user called my friend. I've just canceled. But before doing this video, one of my colleagues shared a, a template uh, with me. And this is this one. And if you can see in the text uh, area that it's called Heidi's template, and it's read only because this is not my template, it's a template shared with me. And maybe you also noticed in this editor window, there is this shared with you uh, on top of the, uh, of the image. You can still delete it. You will not delete the template uh, for your friend. You will simply delete uh, your own usage of this uh, template. So if someone shares a template with you and you don't want to use it, you can simply delete it again. OK, I think this was all I had about uh, templates in Airbox. I hope you found find the information useful. And thank you for watching.